So here's an example problem <coughs> that I have and I'm going to go over. A long thin rectangular piece of tissue with a half thickness of one centimeter is placed in a bath containing a glucose solution. The glucose concentration within the bath remains constant throughout the experiment. Assume that the tissue does not initially contain any glucose and the diffusion coefficient is 3.45 times 10 to negative 6. <coughs> so the first question, part A, reads, how far into the tissue has the glucose concentration increased to 50% of the concentration within the bath after an hour and a half? So to do that, the first thing I want to think about um, is, does the semi-infinite approximation apply? And to answer that question, we use this equation here. Is the question is, is the time less than L squared divided by 36 pij. So again, the time was one and a half hours and which is equal to 5400 seconds. L squared is the half thickness which is one centimeter <coughs> and the dij of course is the diffusion coefficient. So it's 5400 seconds less than uh, your half thickness times 36 uh, divided by 36 dij. And when we work it out we find that uh, 5400 seconds is less than uh, 8052 seconds so it is true and the semi-infinite uh, approximation is valid for this case so we can use that approximation to solve this problem. <coughs> So to solve the problem, we're looking for the position x um, at which the concentration is 50% of what's in the bath. So to find x, we can first to find x, which is right here. We first need to figure out what the uh, dimensionless position is, eta. And to find eta, we can use figure 6.16 in the book, and we need to know theta, which is the normalized concentration. So the normalized concentration um, from the problem statement says 50% of uh, the bath concentration. So you could just understand that it's just changing 50%, so the normalized concentration would therefore be 0.5, or you can actually use the equation and see that 0 .5, 0 0.5 times C1 minus C0, which is the initial concentration in the tissue, 0, divided by C1 minus um, 0. So that would give you 0.5 again. So we know that theta is 0.5, and now um, using figure 6.16, which is right here, we can figure out what eta is. So the normalized concentration we figured out was 0.5. Look down here, and it's about 0.5 is what eta is. that's what we show here. So then just plugging it in, uh, eta equals 0.5, we're using this equation right here, we can then figure out and solve what x is. And it looks like that uh, the concentration is 50% of the uh, bath concentration at 0.138 centimeters from the surface. So that's the solution to part A. Part B asks, what is the flux of the glucose at the surface of the tissue at the one and a half hours in terms of C1? So this is again at the same time, so we know the semi-infinite approximation still holds for this time. And what's really nice again about the semi-infinite approximation is it has a really simple flux equation for the surface. Uh, and here's the flux equation. Um, so all we have to do is basically plug and chug. We have our diffusion coefficient. We know our time is still 5,400 seconds. And um, C0, again, because the tissue doesn't originally have any glucose in it, is zero. So we work it out. And the flux in terms of C1 is 1.43 times 10 to negative 5 C1. <coughs> so it's pretty simple. Part C now asks, Similar kind of question as part A is how far into the tissue has the glucose concentration increased to 50% of the concentration within the bath after three hours? <coughs> so now what we have is the time has changed from an hour and a half to three hours. So what do we got to do again is we need to recheck if the semi-infinite approximation applies. 
So again, we do that. We find out that the time at three hours is 10,800 seconds, and it's false. Now our time is above the point of 8,052 seconds that we calculated uh, earlier, which again was L squared divided by 36 dij. So therefore, the semi-infinite uh, approximation is not valid. So what are we going to do to solve part C? Well, we have to switch gears and go from using the semi-infinite approximation to just uh, being able to solve the uh, PDE of unsteady diffusion in rectangular coordinates. Um, so how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, kind of same thinking again is first we need to find the position, which I'll, the coordinate system is slightly changed just instead of X we're using Y. And to do that we need to again find the non-dimensionalized position. Um, for this case it's Y over L. And to find that, we're going to have to use figure 6.19 in the book. We're going to need to know the normalized concentration, as well as tau, which is the uh, uh, non-dimensionalized uh, time. And so if we first calculate these two, and then we can use the book to figure out um, eta, and then we can solve for y. So first, non-dimensionalized time, plug in our diffusion coefficient, the time, three hours, and uh, the half uh, thickness is one centimeter we get the uh, non-dimensionalized time is 0 0.037 and we figure out that theta is still equal to 0.5 because it's the same condition before. And if we go to 6.19 we have theta is equal to 0.5, so it's going to be right along here, and our tau is 0 0.037, 0 0.037 would be somewhere in between 0 0.025 and point, so it's going to be somewhere a line kind of going in between here. So we go straight across to some point in this area right here, which will be between 0 0.05 and 0 0.025. We can kind of come down and see that it's really close to around 0 0.8 is our dimensionless position, basically. Um, so see, there wasn't really a line at this point, so you can uh, kind of estimate on, on where you're going to be at, and this is going to be kind of, this is a, kind of a rough way to figure it out, but it's definitely acceptable for our purpose here. <coughs> so again, with the tau and the theta, we're able to find eta, and we figured it was roughly around 0.8. So again, uh, eight is equal to y over L. So we're able to solve for y because our L is one centimeter, eight is 0.8. And we figure out that um, the concentration at 50% of the original concentration of the bath um, is uh, at the time of three hours is 0.2 centimeters uh, uh, from the surface of the tissue. That's when it's actually reached that 50% mark. And so that solves uh, part C. So overall in this problem, we were able to, in part A and B, able to use the semi-infinite approximation because it met the criteria of a really short time period of diffusion, um, whereas in part C, the uh, time was increased and it did not meet the criteria. And we just used um, the uh, solution for unsteady diffusion in a rectangular coordinate system.